The British Army announced the successful testing of an innovative weapon designed to neutralize drone swarms using radio waves. Known as the Radio Frequency Directed Energy Weapon, RFDW, this system offers an effective and economical solution to modern aerial threats. This technological advancement represents a significant step forward in missile and air defense, enhancing national security while optimizing operational costs. The RFDW is engineered to detect, track, and engage a variety of threats across land, air, and sea. It can neutralize targets at distances of up to 1 km with near-instantaneous effect, at an estimated cost of just 10 pence per shot. This cost efficiency contrasts sharply with traditional missile-based defense systems, making it a complementary option for modern defense strategies. Unlike laser-based systems like the Dragonfire, the RFDW employs high-frequency radio waves to disrupt or damage the critical electronic components of targeted devices, such as drones, rendering them immobilized or causing them to crash. This technological breakthrough is the result of a consortium led by Thales UK, in collaboration with Kinetic, Teledyne 2V, and Hariba Mira. The project supports over 135 highly skilled jobs across the UK defence industry, demonstrating the government's commitment to fostering sovereign technologies and reinforcing the foundations of national security. Additionally, the system's high level of automation allows for operation by a single person and deployment on military vehicles, such as the MAN SV, enhancing its operational mobility. The first live demonstration of the RFDW was conducted at a test range in Wales by the Royal Artillery's Trials and Development Unit and the 7th Air Defence Group. The trials successfully targeted and neutralized Uncrewed Aerial Systems, UAS, marking a significant milestone for the British Armed Forces. These tests explored various configurations, environments, and engagement scenarios, improving understanding of the technology's operational potential. The RFDIS development falls under the Team HERSA program, a joint initiative by the UK Ministry of Defence, Defence Equipment and Support, DNS, and the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL. DSTL program lead Matt Cork highlighted the collaborative effort between defence experts and industry, while Nigel McVean, Managing Director of Thales Integrated Airspace Solutions, emphasised the importance of continued research and development in this field reflecting Thales' long-standing involvement in directed energy technology. These trials represent a key step in the UK's efforts to enhance the future operational capabilities of its armed forces. The RFDW demonstrates a precise, powerful, and cost-effective method to counter multiple aerial threats. As the trials progress, Team HERSA is working on refining the operational requirements, doctrine, and technology to optimize RFDW systems for future missions. With the rapid expansion of drone use in both civilian and military contexts, the development of weapons like the RFDW holds strategic importance. Drones, widely accessible and versatile, are deployed for tasks ranging from surveillance to offensive operations, posing increasing security challenges. Recent incidents involving drones in illegal surveillance or coordinated attacks highlight the need for innovative solutions to effectively and affordably counter these threats. RIFTAs meet this demand by using radio waves to disrupt the electronic components of drones, offering rapid and cost-efficient neutralization of drone swarms. Their versatility allows deployment on various platforms, including land, air, and sea, further enhancing their relevance against evolving threats. These systems stand out as vital tools for protecting critical infrastructure and maintaining technological superiority in modern defense scenarios. Despite their advantages, RIFTAs face certain limitations, particularly against drones equipped with advanced technologies. For instance, drones using fiber-optic connections instead of radio links are less vulnerable to radio wave interference. Fiber optics, immune to electromagnetic disruptions, provide secure remote control resistant to RFDW effects. Additionally, some sophisticated drones are equipped with anti-jamming systems or reinforced electronic components, reducing the effectiveness of RF-directed attacks. Furthermore, the system's limited range of approximately 1 km could pose challenges in scenarios involving large-scale coordinated attacks or threats from high altitudes. 
These limitations underscore the importance of diversifying defense strategies to address the evolving technological landscape of aerial threats. Thanks for watching.